Hey guys and welcome to the channel. I hope you're having an amazing day. So what we're doing today is we are working on Penny Pizzazz's apartment. If you don't know who Penny Pizzazz is, this is Penny Pizzazz. She actually lives in the Arts District, I think. I'm not too sure, but I know that she lives in one of the starter apartments. Um, the address is obviously up in the corner. Um, so I was trying to do something that was along the lines of her color. So as you saw on her shirt, there was orange, teal, black, white, blue, purple, lots and lots of bright colors. And so I decided that that's the kind of thing I was going to do for her. So just trying to find the right um, thing for her to use for the colors and everything. And the different um, little things that I decided whether I was going to put in her... Uh, Put in her apartment because I kind of assumed that she'd be very fashionable, but at the same time, very, very cutesy, I guess, if cutesy is the right word. So I tried to find a bunch of different things that would be cutesy for her apartment. And so as soon as I saw that little turtle, I went, oh my gosh, I have to put that in Penny Pizzazz's apartment. I just have to. And then, of course, trying to make sure that I add a couple of things um, to go on the coffee table. I'm trying to figure out right here a different um, thing that I could put to divide the living room and the kitchen with besides that little half wall. I wanted to put something else. Um, so I do end up putting this for a little while. I kind of changed the colors around, obviously. Um, but I do end up changing that out for something else. I also figured out something else that I wanted to do um, instead of that, which you will actually see what I end up doing here pretty soon. I even um, move those into the kitchen, and I move some of the other stuff to the center. Um, so that is actually what I changed it to was that little vine thing right there. And then I figured that I also wanted to put some plants. Um, I just really wasn't sure what I was going to put. Um, but I also wanted to put one of these hanging plants. I just wasn't sure exactly where I was going to put it. And as you can see, I'm going through some of those. I was like, oh my goodness, where are the shorter ones? I wanted it to go in front of the TV. Dang it. Um, so anyway, you see me kind of moving things around here and there, trying to make up my mind on where I'm going to put things, what's going to go here, what's going to go there. And then I saw that little um, succulent thing and I went, oh my gosh, she's going to have like succulents everywhere. Um, so I do end up trying to make that kind of the basis of the front room is definitely trying to... Um, find something that would match. I even tried to mix in some flowers to make my own and it just didn't end up looking correctly and I end up changing it around for something else which you guys will see here in a minute. Um, I do end up putting that actually over there um, and then I end up putting those succulents there. I I do find a place to put that little cacti. I just haven't figured out where to put it yet. Um, but I end up putting it right there, I believe. Yeah. Um, so anyway, there's been lots of speculation on the channel of uh, where I've been for the past little while. Um, I did have a pet pass away. Um, it was my son's companion. Um. And so we were dealing with that loss. It was his companion. That's the best way I can explain it, is his companion. Um, his name was Mouse. He was actually 
not just my son's companion, but ours as well. And we loved him so much. And so it was <laughs> trying to deal with that emotion as well as trying to get, um, trying to figure out what's going on with my family in Utah. Um, found out that my sister actually, not my sister, but her ex-husband ended up with COVID. So, um, that was kind of a shocker to us all. Um, he did end up having a stroke. Um, he's okay now. I do know that he's staying in a hotel right now, though, so that he doesn't spread it to his family. Um, so I go, now what I ended up trying to do was decide that I wanted to put her a little laptop and shrink that down and then find a cute, cutesy little chair that I end up using this one, but then trying to figure out how in the world am I going to hide that? And I wanted it to sit on that table, but it actually ends up floating. So I realized that I couldn't actually do that. I couldn't shrink it down. So I tried to find um, a couple of different things that I could use. I'm like, oh, maybe I could use a shelf. Mm, that didn't work. I could. I thought about use finding a different color, and that's when I actually found this shelf that came with Eco Lifestyle. And I thought, oh my gosh, this is going to be perfect. I'm going to love doing this. This is exactly the type of thing that I was looking for to be able to put her computer on. But then trying to figure out how in the world I was going to hide that little. Um, where it's sitting on anyway, the counter, the bar counter. And I was like, oh my goodness, what am I going to do? I have to figure out a place that I can hide that. Um, I thought of different things that I could put down below. I end up um, doubling up. At first, I end up doubling up that little table Um just so that I could put it underneath there and maybe make it to where I could find something to hide it, like some boxes or something. I really wasn't sure what I was going to do. I was just trying to experiment a little bit to see what I could find. I thought, oh, maybe I could just put some towels. Maybe she could just put like blankets under there. And then I found these and I thought, oh, maybe this would work. And Maybe the laundry basket, I could put it to the side and put this little basket over here. And I don't end up leaving it this way, you guys. I end up finding the perfect table to put underneath there. And I actually don't connect, have it an L shape like that. I end up doing something else. Um, so right now you can see that I have those boxes underneath. I do not leave it that way, just so you guys know. Um, I end up moving things around and finding a better spot for everything. So, um, I definitely, this was the first time that I've actually built something with the eco lifestyle. And I can tell you what, I had so much fun seeing all the different things that they have for knitting as well as eco lifestyle that I could combine and put things different places to where they would look halfway decent and they would match. And I had, I got to tell you, I had so much fun doing all this, um, but definitely trying to figure out what I was going to do with that little area. I just could not imagine what in the world I was going to do with it, um, especially because I really like the color teal. That's one major color that I saw in her dress that I did want to continue to use in here. I was just trying to figure out how... I was going to get it to work. And I do end up using that one right there because there is like a little basket that is already sitting there and it blocks it perfectly. So that is the one that I end up leaving there. Um, now those hanging plants that you see me kind of messing with like this one, I do end up putting it there. That is custom content. If you guys are curious where I got that, I can link it down below for you. Um, otherwise, I'm just going to... I got it off of The Sims Resource. 
So if you guys are curious where I got it, just comment down below and let me know. Um, there's several of those plants, though, and let me tell you, I enjoyed every minute of having hanging plants because I know that I have hanging plants in my house, so I end up um, doing it that way. I was trying to decide what I was going to put to decorate everywhere, especially because I was trying to keep all the colors, like, moving through the build itself so it wasn't it, so that everything was connected like she might have bought them all at the same place or you know something along those lines um but I definitely wanted to make her apartment more pizzazzy <laughs> that's the right word pizzazzy um now what I end up doing with these butterflies guys I think that is really cool I ended up putting them on that little leafy divider thing that you see right there and I end up loving it right there I think it is it's something that I would actually end up doing you know I would put butterflies on that thing to make it look more real um obviously here I don't end up keeping the door right there I do end up moving it um so that I can put the bookshelf more centered, um, which I do put a base game uh, shelf. It's that one right there. Um, and then trying to figure out what I was going to do with this kitchen table. Now I thought, oh my gosh, this is so cute. It would match perfectly with the, um, the living room but then I'm like well do I want it to be matchy matchy and then I said yeah because I could it could be that she in my game I have her to where she's very creative so she would want to have made that stuff in my opinion she would have reupholstered it and painted it and had everything together um so I decided that what I was going to do with the bathroom is I wanted to carry the teal color back in here, especially because I know that shower is from Jungle Adventure, and I know that there's some paint that matches it. That's why I decided to use it. Um, and because I was using Jungle Adventure, I wanted to kind of keep that theme going. So that's why you see that I use the um, sink there. That is actually from Jungle Adventure as well. So, um, <clears throat> I am going to try and do some builds every Thursday if I possibly can. That seems like a fun time to do it. It's when I have visits with my kids and everything. So, I think it, ma it works out really well. I can concentrate on just building. And who knows? I may end up using this as... Um, a save file that I may end up creating a bunch of characters for for Cass. I'll I'm gonna do like a Cass Monday maybe or Cass Sunday or something like that. Um, now I decided I was kind of deciding whether I wanted to actually put something in here for her to change her clothes, and I'm like, no, she has a closet out in the hallway, so I wanted her to be able to sit down and do her makeup especially because I know that she can so it takes me a few minutes because I wanted to put like if you see the little lip on top of that I was trying to get it to where the fingernail polish would sit perfectly on top of it without like glitching down below it if that makes sense see how it sits like perfectly and I wanted her to obviously to have some flowers on that as well. Um, I did want to keep the hanging plant. I just wasn't sure what kind of uh, curtains to hang in here. I did want to keep it pushed against the wall. The scoot trick does work in my game. Um, but I did play test this with Penny. And let me tell you, she is in love with this apartment. She got a moodlet that was so happy. Be, which I was excited for her actually um, that she was happy with the way the apartment looked um, now I <clears throat> sorry guys I am going to try and do more builds um, especially with um, I'm going to try and do more 
um, base game builds for like base game lands, if that makes sense. And then I'm just going to work my way through. I um, Obviously, I wanted to get some content up today, so I apologize it's a little bit late. I just wanted to show you guys that I do care, that I'm trying my absolute best to get some content up for you guys. And um, so I am going to make sure that this goes up today. I will be putting up some more content tomorrow as well. So if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button on your way out as well as the thumbs up. If you want to see more, definitely comment down below some, some more building ideas that you would like to see me do. Um, and definitely, 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 definitely give me a thumbs up if you want this build it will be up on the gallery um and i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go there are some screenshots at the end um and i will see you guys in the next one i love you guys and have a wonderful evening namaste